So I've been doing a lot of thinking lately about the middle. And I know that sort of requires an explanation. And I'm going to try to give it to you. But I haven't really worked it all the way out in my own head yet. So you're just going to have to follow me on this one. I've been thinking about the middle because I feel like I'm at this place in my life where I'm kind of halfway between where I was and where I know I'm capable of being. At 32 years old, I'm halfway between the youth of my 20s and what, you know, greater society would deem middle age. It's a lot going on with this middle. <laughs> and I just don't know if people really talk about this because I've never been able to bring it up with anybody before. It can be really frustrating when you feel like y you've mastered all that you feel like you need to master about one topic or, or one stage of your life where you feel like you've learned all the lessons that you can learn and you're ready to go on to the next level and then, you know, however you define God or the universe or, you know, higher power is essentially saying, no, now that you know this, you have to wait and be patient and that next level will come in its due course. And I've just been giving some thought to that, that middle space of, you know, wanting to, you know, get somewhere so badly, but circumstances greater than you are delaying that. And I guess the short lesson to learn is, is sort of the value in the middle that you will appreciate where you're going more once you get there for having gotten through a time like this. Um, and you will appreciate your youth, you know, from the perspective of your 40s on a greater level, having gotten through a time like this, this midpoint, this time period where you haven't quite accrued the wisdom that elicits an automatic level of respect, but you're far enough away from your youth that you can still have an appreciation and almost a, a melancholic uh, remembrance of what your younger years offered you. It's, it's just an interesting place to be in. I don't know necessarily how many women or men in my age bracket, you know, think about this. I was talking to one of my oldest friends in the whole wide world, and big, big shouts out to Talia earlier today. And we were just kind of saying, you know, there were so I don't think we even realized the opportunities that we had to do some of the, you know, I, I guess to obtain what society defines as success. Do you understand what I'm saying? I guess, I mean, it, it's not that I failed per se, but I didn't pursue a backup career either. You know, I didn't go as far along in school as I might have liked to or probably should have. I didn't buckle down and focus and be responsible. I lived. And boy, did I live. Make no mistake. I'm, you know, graduated with my PhD in magna cum laude from the School of Hard Knocks. But... You know, I, I didn't do that which 
resounds to most people as some quantifiable level of success. And so I, I'm, I'm not going to say I missed the opportunity because the opportunity can always arise again, but during the time where most people do reach out to do those things, I did not. Now, th this is not like cue the, you know, teeniest violin in the whole wide world and, you know, sound the alarm for the pity party. It's just not the way my life played out. And now I'm in a position where, you know, I've got to do some pretty, you know, major catching up if I want to establish myself as that kind of person, you know, the, the actively responsible sort of individual. I know that I need to do this. I have the energy to do this. But now it's like there's, again, that waiting period for the opportunities to arise, for certain things to fall into place, for me to kind of plant my feet on solid ground. So it's like you know where you want to go and you're not where you were, but you still have to wait because there are, you know, extraneous circumstances that you have no control over. Hence, once again, bringing us back to the middle. And I mean, I, if, if y'all feel me at all, please let me know. Because it can't be me by myself. It can't just be me and my girl. Um, I don't know. I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while, you know, because it's like, when when people send their YQAs in, which I, I absolutely adore, it's probably one of the, my favorite aspects of doing videos, is kind of putting it out there and, and letting, you know, for me it's kind of like we're all sitting there with like our little beverages, having this round table discussion about one person's issue, whatever it may be, you know, and I, I just think I've got some super intelligent minds that, you know, contribute so greatly to this channel that, that we can all kind of throw our input into the ring and really come up with some great ideas as to how to help people out with their, you know, whatever they're struggling with. But it interests me that, like, and, and even this goes back to a conversation I had with my mother when she said, you know, you've had a minimal, you know, formal education, but you have a very intelligent mind. And it's it's fascinating to her that, you know, it that mind didn't come with, you know, key pieces of paper or it didn't come from long hours spent in the lab or, you know, I mean, it just, it came from life. And, I mean, in my case, it did. And now it's like, I'd, I'd like the credentials to go along with what I know I'm capable of, but... As I said, I remain currently, not forever, but currently, in the middle. So, yeah, let's, let's talk about the middle. One love.